Hey guys, so today we're excited. We have Ryan Michelle Bathe with us, who is an actress, and she's also a mom of two. So you're a mom of two boys. Mm-hmm. Now, have you seen that creative gene in them? Because you're married to an actor as well. You're an actor, married to an actor. Mm -hmm. Have you seen that creative gene in your boys at all? Mm -hmm. That little bug, mm -hmm. that little taste? Mm -hmm. How so? My child. <laughs> Andrew is. Through. I know. I'm like, Andrew all right, y'all. Y'all say you wanted the real. Who saw, y'all? Who saw? Andrew is the most. I've I've literally never seen anything like and Andrew's it. Andrew's your oldest. Andrew's the oldest, and I was like, I wonder if this is what Sterling was like when he was. And I, there are so many times, and I can't even be mad at him because I'm like, it's my dumb fault that I married an actor. Like I could have married like a scientist, and he wouldn't be like this. He is out of his mind. Like you never know though. I mean, mm. because you know you have it too, so it could be. I mean, it's no, both it's, of you. it's it's mostly. Okay. Like, <laughs> this one is most. Andrew is mostly. I mean, he's like he's always dancing, and he. He he just says little things like some things I actually can't even repeat because it's not for, <laughs> for 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 company. But he'll he told the teacher he was in preschool, and the teacher was like, um, so this, he's not in trouble. But I just want to tell you what he did. And I was like, oh lord. And she said, so I was fixing the curtains at nap time, and he was looking at me, and he said, you got this, Miss Gomez. Uh -huh. You go, girl. You got this. You got this. <laughs> no, he didn't. He, did. he was in preschool. He was in no, preschool. No, where is he getting he that? From. What do you do? This is just Sterling. Yeah, where do you think he gets that yeah. from? I've never been like, you got this, girl. <laughs> girl oh, you know. no. oh, oh no. Oh, baby, I don't know. Oh, no. Oh, no. Oh, no. I think that's a little bit of both of y'all. I think that's a little bit of both of y'all. I don't know. Okay, so what raising boys, so you've seen that creative gene in them. Mm hmm Let's talk about just raising boys in this world, right? In like yeah. our time. You're raising black mm -hmm. boys to become black men. Mm -hmm. What does that mean to you? I And I, I ask this out of all sincerity too because I'm a mom of a little boy now. Mm -hmm. So I've had girls, you know, my six-year-old and three-year-old, but now my four-month-old little boy, this is something that I'm kind of thinking about that I wasn't forced to think about before. Mm -hmm. How do you do it? Like, what are your thoughts on it? I think about it every single day. Do you really? Every day. Like, some days I feel like have I gone too far in, you know, telling him, you know, who he has to be in this world mm. to, you know, I do give him that you have to be better than. Yeah. I, I have absolutely given him that conversation, had yeah. that conversation with him, and he's only six. And I'm like, is it too much? You know, is it? And I'm like, I see him, because he is like a class clown. And I have mm. to tell him, you know what? It's cute now. And, you know, Miss Gomez thinks you're cute. <laughs> but, you know, you might run into somebody else. Yeah. And, you know, Miss McKinney might not think you're so cute. Does he understand it? He's getting to understand it. Yeah. And I think I've gone maybe a little bit too far. <laughs> but, you know, it's really it, it, I'm drill, I'm, I am drilling. And he'll say, like, I'll say, oh, my God, that little girl is so cute. She's so cute. And he's like, Mom, you only think she's cute because she's brown. Ah, and I'm like, so <laughs> true. <laughs> True, but you're um, you're 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 instilling it in him. You're you're giving mm -hmm. him the the foundation. I do my best to really instill it in him and instill, you know, because I do feel this sort of pressure. Like I feel the fear mm -hmm. that at some point they're not going to see a cute little kid or a mm -hmm. cute little boy. They're mm -hmm. going to see an adult male, and I don't right. know when that shift happens. Right. But I know Tamir Rice was ten yeah. or eleven. You know what I mean? Yeah. He was a yeah. child. So I think about that all the time. I think about this carefree attitude that he has that I love. I, I love the fact that he's carefree and not burdened by things. And I want that for him. But I also feel like, how is that? Is there ever going to be a point where that's dangerous for him? So how do you instill it? Do you, is it affirmations? Is it, um, you know, when he wakes up or when he does something, you, you're like, hey, you know, this is this. Like, what are your, tell me like, two or three ways that you go about that? What are your day-to-day -day ways of reminding him that, hey, the world may see you a little differently than the jokester or that, I mean, he's only six, so it's very, it's, it's very young. It but. is very young, and it's, we, I mean, we, you know, our house obviously is, 
black stuff and yeah. black, you know, and, and I love, I, I, I used to have all these books, you know, by Nikki Giovanni and the Tay Diggs' Chocolate Me. Yeah. And, you know, we had all of this stuff and all these poems and, yeah. you know, and he, sometimes he's like, mommy, I just want to read the book about the trains. Yeah, I just right? want to read the book about the trains. And I'm like, okay, fair <laughs> enough. So that was the first thing. And I don't know, I think in my mind, because I'm so like politically, yeah. you know, and, you know, black power, and black gross, thought, you know, yes, speak yeah. black, act black, you know, and he's like, sometimes, you know, I just expected him to be like, come out the womb, like yeah. wearing kente cloth, you know? But you want to allow him to be a child too. <laughs> and be himself and yeah. find it on his own, like not do too much that he's like, oh my God, here we go with this again. But not too much where he's turned off by it, right? Exactly. Yeah. So that I'm constantly walking this, this line of, you know, and, and to be perfectly honest with you, we don't live around our family. Yeah. So we don't have that. You know, we don't have that, like, um, just that innate kind of, like, we don't eat the way. Uh, Sterling and I talk about it all the time. I'm like, my son has never had Kool-Aid. <laughs> He's never had, you know, Fruit Loops, Corn Flakes, all of the things, the, the, the markers that, especially because Sterling and I both grew up in St. Louis. That we were raised on. That we were raised on and, yeah. and the food that we were raised on and, you know, the way in which, like, we related to our community. He does not have that. Yeah. We did join Jack and Jill. Yeah, okay. Um. So. So I, that's big. It's big. Right? That's we joined big. Jack and Jill of America. Yeah, yeah that's yeah, big yeah. because I feel like in L.A., I'm from Detroit, as mm-hmm. we, as you know, and we've talked about this. Um. So this whole Midwest feel again. But I feel like being in L.A., do you feel like, in Detroit, I just feel like we were all kind of in it together. Right. In LA, when I moved here, I feel like we're a little separate from things. Like, right? Like, everyone kind of has their own little group and mm-hmm. click that they kind of, like, stay really close to. Um, so I feel like it was kind of hard to kind of meet other black people. You know Very what I mean? So. Just to be honest with you, you know, not being raised here, mm-hmm. how do you combat that, I guess, and how do you incorporate that in your kids by joining things like by Jack and By joining Jack and Jill. And it wasn't, and when I joined Jack and Jill, I was like, there is like a whole like community of black people in LA that are born and raised here that have yeah. no idea about anything that has anything to do with the business. Wow. But you know, they all they all live around the same neighborhoods and they, you know, I mean, Jack and Jill, there are people in our chapter whose grandparents Really? We're in the chapter. And I'm like, where Dang. have y'all been? And they're For like, you've just been high. in Hollywood. They're yeah, like, no, exactly. you've been in Hollywood. Exactly. We've been over here in Ladera High. Yeah, yeah, what you been? Yeah, yeah. What you been doing? Get your life. And I'm like, oh. <laughs> For mm. real. But so. it takes a while to learn those different things. I think when you move into a city, mm-hmm. and like you said, your grandparent wasn't in, you know, involved in like a certain thing or whatever. When you move into a new city, it takes a curve on finding that. Especially, and I think the curve in LA, you're absolutely right. And the curve in LA is worse, I think, than in any other city because of what we do right and who we're around and the the people that you know the wonderful people that we meet I mean it's great it's It's just in terms of that sort of black community there is it's it's tough so you do think that having a black community is not only important for you guys but also important for your kids I believe so yeah I believe so and again you know he 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 just can I say bitch and moan? Yeah. <laughs> he totally bitches and moans about Jack and Joe. I don't know why we have that go. And I'm like, because <laughs> it's important. And because he sees like like-minded, like people that look like like people him. People that look like him. You and know, ideally that's what ideally it will at some point be something that he's grateful for. Exactly. My hope is that it helps him think, wow, we're all different. Yeah. And my difference might be X, Y, and Z. And this person's difference is A, B, and Z, but we can all kind of be at the school together. Yeah. And if yeah. I can ask these questions and not feel ashamed asking of these course. questions, then somebody can ask questions of me and not feel right. ashamed, and we can go back and forth. Right. You know? And that's community, right? I and mean, that's, that's how you build community. That's how you build community. Mm-hmm.